Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is another episode of my makeup video and I have the beautiful Charlotte Walker here with me to create this beautiful bronzy monochrome makeup look. The eye, pretty simple and easy to do. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow both Charlotte and I on Instagram as well. Thank you so much. As start every makeup, I always start with skincare first. For the lips today, I'm using from Australian brand called Lana Lips. They have a variety of different lip balm, some tinted, some scented. You can get them online as well. I don't know where they sell them, but we can list on the description box for you guys. For skincare, I'm using eye cream, serum, and moisturizer from Barra Sturm. Look out for me. I always put quite generous amount, and then you can always blot off. You can use a little if you want to. I usually like keep that area quite hydrated before makeup. Charlotte's skin a little red, so I'm using some calming serum just to calm some of the red down. And you just really just press into the face and some on the neck as well. The last step is some moisturizer this cream is very beautiful under makeup it's for day and night you can use under makeup for day or you can use them at night as well and then again always Keep the face a little face massage. Chin down. Then. For foundation and concealer, I'm using the Tinted Moisturizer from NARS and the Radiant Moisture Concealer from NARS as well. Uh, Charlotte has incredible skin, so that's why I don't want to cover the skin too much. She has really pale and nice skin. Right now, you can see that I put quite a bit of moisturizer, so when you find them a little too much moisturizer, you can always use your brush, your sponge, and you're just gonna take some of the moisturizer out or blend it out more before you apply foundation. To start, I'm using a tiny bit only, just a few dots. On Charlotte, in real life, I don't think she even needs to use any foundation, nothing at all, just a little bit of concealer and that's all she needs. And just a big brush and blend it out.
and even I use a little bit, I always make sure everything blended together. Charlotte have beautiful pale skin, I want to keep exactly the same, but sometimes tinted moisturizer, if you want a little bit natural tan, you can use the shades slightly darker, and then you can just do a really nice sheer coverage on your face, and that way it still looks very natural on you. But on Charlotte, I use the shade almost exactly the same as her natural skin color. For concealer, I'm using mainly under the eye, and around the nose, and just a very few little things that I need to cover. She doesn't need much at all. When cover any redness or blemishes, I like the concealer exactly the same shade of foundation. Usually I use the concealer shade a little lighter for under the eye area, but for Charlotte, I don't think she needs to. I just use the same shade for all over. For powder, I'm going to use some hyaluronic powder from By Terry, mainly under the eye. and the T-zone area. Charlotte have incredible bone structure. I don't think she needs all the contour and highlight and everything like that. But I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer just to define the feature more. I find most people they do in a young age, they like to define the feature more. When you're older, you like your face more plumby, so usually you avoid all those things. Um, so that's why I'm using a little bit of bronzer and the contour. I'm using the new one from Victoria Beckham Beauty. They actually sent me this on the PR package with my initial name in there. Thank you. But the shade is not for me. It's a little too light, but I thought it's great on Charlotte. So if you see this, you need to send me a darker one because <laughs> I do like the texture and I think this is a like really beautiful bronzer and contour but look at my skin and look at this I think it's a little too too light <laughs> and so basically I'm using this side as a bronzer so I'm using a little bit on Charlotte and you don't have to use too much And because all these bronzer, they have nice pigment. You don't need to do like, I saw a lot of people always swirl like this. It's the worst thing you can do to a bronzer. I like to use like that. And you get the lid of the product deposit and you blend it out. It's so much easy to blend when you do it like that. You can also use this shade to contour as well, but I thought Charlotte doesn't need it. So I'm not gonna do too much. For eyebrow, I'm going to keep Charlotte eyebrow pretty light, like the way her eyebrow is. She have some hair down here, but I love, you know, natural brow. Generally, I don't like to over tweeze the brow too much. If I want to create a full shape, then I draw fuller, skinnier, I can make them thinner. But sometimes you over tweeze the brows too much. It's, you know, it's a have a, people have a hard time to grow back. And I love the way her eyebrow is. I love the shape. I love how arched they are. I'm actually gonna play with that shape as well. I'm using the eyebrow pencil from Cosat. They come again, one side pencil, one side with a spoolie. It's a habit. I use my separate spoolie all the time. The shade I'm using is Taupe. and just a little bit. And you see her eyebrow have a naturally arch shape like the 90s model and I love it and I think I like to keep it exactly the same. And the best way to see the brow, if you want to use a map, that's where you're gonna end. 
Some people like eyebrows shorter, you can, but I use, that's the, you see the guide that I suggest to people how far you want to do the brow. You can also use the brow to draw a few individual hair as well. And that's the shape of the brow that I like. I'm gonna do on the other side. That's the brow, and I'm gonna use some brow gel for this. They also have color brow gel as well. They have been taupe color, exactly the same eyebrow pencil. Generally, I like eyebrow with the clear brow gel because I think it's, it doesn't deposit too much of the volume on the hair, and I like it's more softer that way. For the eye area, I'm going to use this color palette from Barreto. It's more a uh, warm tone, neutral warm tones. And then maybe I use a little liquid liner and it's the shade more like this. It's not your typical black liner and mostly on the outer part of the eye. And I'm, I'm not gonna try to do like a whole eyeliner. I'm just do just in the corner, a little flick. I think it's really nice. And for the look, I'm doing more softer shadow, not too heavy, and then just keep everything more monochrome a little bit. To start, I'm using this shade right now. Look up for me. Under, under the lower lash line. Look up. Just very little. I'm not using too much. You can do heavy eye with this palette, but I'm just the whole point. I'm just do a very softer, smoky eye. Close your eye. And again, I'm using the same shades all over the socket area. Same on this side. The next shade I'm using is this shade right here. Close your eye. Just on the outer upper lash line. And then a little bit on the crease here. I'm trying to do these applications so I think everyone can duplicate easily at home because it's not complicated at all. It's quite straightforward. And do the same on this side. So that's where you can see I just mostly just out of the corner and just you know, half in and just blend it out a little bit. Anyone can do it up to here because it's pretty straightforward. Over, on over, and then just the outer part. And next step, I'm going another shade is I'm going to use, debating which one I'm use. Maybe I'm using the lighter shade. Close your eye. A little bit right here on the eyeball there. Just a little pop. And the look I'm trying to do is still very soft, so I'm not going to do too heavy. And again, look up for me. A little bit on the inner corner of the eye. I generally don't do much of the inner corner of the eye like that, but I thought for this look, it suits. The purpose, close your eye. And I know a lot of people love the highlight in the inner corner. And then the same shades. I'm gonna give a little bit on the brow bone. 
to enhance the brown shape even more. Not too much, just go very, very light-handed of how much you want to put there because when it's too much highlighter there, the look can look very dated. You can stop right there with the mascara, it's done for the eye. But I'm going to do a little bit of the eyeliner. For this eyeliner look, close your eye. I just basically follow exactly the same way her lash line. And you can see just a little bit. And I didn't go all the way in, just from the outer part. And it just follow out. I'm not going to try to do a, a flick up just along the lash line. That's what I'm trying to do. And you can use a little Q-tip to define. It's really hard to do liner on one side like this. <laughs> And then that's how I want it. So basically I just follow exactly her eye and I just extend a little longer. And I think this is even your eyeliner is to look very soft. It doesn't look heavy as a black liner do. And I love sometimes, you know, you play with different liner color. It gives you a more, a different effect, you know. And so I think this is a good idea to try. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to curl the lashes. Look down for me. And then I'm going to put some mascara on. The mascara I'm using is Volume Mascara from Kevin Ukon. I'm going to use two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. For blush and highlight, I'm going to use the bronzer, blush and highlight palette from Zara Beauty. I'm going to use this blush shade and the highlighter. Because it's very narrow, you use the pointier blush brush and just get a little bit, mainly on the upper cheek area. Blush application is also very personal preference. I like everything more lifted. So usually I do the blush a little higher up. It's just the same idea of the eyeliner. That little kick on the corner, it does keep a little lift this way as well. If you want more, a prettier, more romantic, you can do the blush on the apple of the cheek. That's what the traditional we always like to use. For highlighter, I'm using the fan brush. Just a little bit under temple area. And I do a little bit everywhere. Just you dust slightly like that. And I think it's nice. For lipstick shades, I'm going to use this lipstick from Hermes and the lip liner from Jason Wool Beauty. Charlotte, normally I would not use too much lip liner. So I'm just gonna just define them a little bit. I mean, her natural lip shape is pretty perfect. So no cheating, no nothing. You just fill it up a little bit before I use the lipstick. And the lip liner shade is pretty close to the lipstick. color hard to describe what color it is. It's more like a peachy, pinky, more muted. So, but you can have an idea. It's all monochrome to the eyeshadow I'm using. And usually I like to use more bigger brush for lips. It's 
up to you, personal preference, how you like to use it. I find the little one, it takes too long and it doesn't get all the corner I like, so I use the bigger one. I'm going to finish the makeup with some spray mist from Glow Recipe. That's the look guy. I hope you enjoy the look. I'm trying to do another smoky eyeliner, but very simple-ish and it's effortless. I hope you enjoy the look. I hope you keep the channel more support. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and give us a thumb up. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow both Charlotte and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.